Gracias por invitarme a este foro internacional. Uh, thank you all. Oh, thank you very much for inviting me to the International Forum on Democracy. Uh, uh, I've actually attended a lot of uh, similar activities previously held in China, but due to COVID-19, I cannot make it there to meet you face to face. And I really hope that in the future we can meet face to face and discuss these issues. Uh, humanities and their shared values are a set of the common values and uh, ethical principles accepted by all humanity around the world. This is an essential part of our identity. Uh, it is also what uh, guides us in our development path. Such values should also be the bridge uh, connecting all different races and ethnicities in understanding each other. Only with the common ground uh, of these values that we can achieve a common development. Peaceful coexistence is a fundamental principle for all of us. We need to respect uh, freedom, but freedom has to have it's a limit. You cannot harm other people and you have to obey the laws. This is the same everywhere for our relationship between people and between and the relations between states. Uh, harmonious coexistence uh, is what the Chinese culture has taught us. Harmony or harmonious is also an essential part of humans' shared values. We need to empower each and everyone to develop equally. They need to be given equal opportunities, and humans should also love each other and be generous with each other. The human race is a melting pot of multiple cultures. We need to respect our differences and develop peacefully together. These common values, as we can see, are not developed in the way we expected. We are still suffering from gender inequality, violence, poverty, etc. These common challenges, major ones in front of us, demand us to address these problems with the correct mindsets and actions, our society and our global community must be more solidified so that the human race can progress together. Only by doing so can we achieve high-level development in a real sense and how to do that, first, we need democracy, we need mutual respect. On democracy, there might be voices saying that democracy isn't perfect. Indeed, it is not, but it is the only feasible system that we have so far. And under such a framework, we want to seek all around thorough development of every individual living with dignity. And an important aspect of democracy should be generosity. Only with generosity and tolerance can we common development and happiness under this diversified background. There are also people talking about democracy as power. I think that is only part of it. Democracy also means obligations and responsibilities. 
no matter the leader of the country or the citizens, we all have our work to do. And this, these are the important corresponding obligations of ours while we enjoy the freedom in a democratic society. Today, we often talk about governance, which is a quite heated concept in recent years. And governance requires us to look at democracy all around the world. Populism is ravaging across the world, especially in Latin America. Populism is indeed a social disease in Latin America, affecting the social and uh, institutional development. A lot of populist leaders have been impacted for quite a long time, who are not really promoting the national development, but only fanning hatred between different groups. These populist leaders never introduce inclusive economic development plans that could benefit all people. They abuse their powers and cause even more horrible corruption. So Latin American countries, as I believe, need to fight against a populism and gradually narrow the differences between uh, various parts of the society instead of aggravating them. I think no matter in Latin America or all around the world, we need to cherish the diversity uh, of different nations. Democracy means mutual understanding, it means common development, it means diversity. I also think that there is one more issue that we must pay attention to in today's democracy, that is the uh, business elites and political elites are drifting farther and farther away from the masses. When we talk about the common challenges of all countries, of all people, we should not only look at the elite level, but more importantly, whether the masses, the, the population, can gain a better living standard and have access to more advanced technologies. So, regardless of the development of the time, mutual respect, and justness, and fairness, and uh, democracy could be the common values that remain stable, that no one can suppress. We need to implant these values into all aspects of the social development in all possible ways. In policy making, in implementation, in all other aspects, we need to involve the mass public. Only by doing so can we enrich and improve our democracy. We cannot afford to let the people down. When they think of democracy, democracy is not only the democracy of the elite level. This is the prerequisite for our future long-term development. Thank you again for the invitation, and I hope that the Latin American countries can one day uh, get out of the dire of um, populism and enjoy democracy in the future. I really hope to meet you face to face sooner. Thank you.